Hi everybody, Harry from OpenAV here. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the release spree that's currently going on with OpenAV. What do I mean by release spree? Well, all of our projects, so that is LUP, Artifacts, FabLab, Sorcer, and some documentation are all getting updates. Actually, they've just got updates about half an hour ago. Uh, what does this mean? Well, for LUP, there's been a huge amount of work done. Uh, huge thanks to Jimson Drift and George Krauss. They've done some fantastic work and sent pull requests and patches and worked with me and OpenAV in general uh, to make a really fantastic release. What does that mean? It means there's about 100 commits, 8,000 lines of code changed. Uh, jack effects are now per track, which is a fantastic feature that uh, Jimson Drift was working on, and I'm really happy that it's there now. Um, there's some new MIDI controller scripts added, so that's like the Launchpad S, the APK, or the APC Mini, the APC Key 25, and some others. There is RD Effects uh, 1.3, has some new user interfaces and some performance benchmarks that lets OpenAV keep an eye on the performance to ensure that your CPU doesn't get overwhelmed by the RT effects. Apart from that, Fabla and Sorcerer have both got some user interface updates so that they get the same look and feel as uh, LUP and uh, RT effects projects. And apart from that, there's a fantastic documentation project going on. So what does the documentation actually mean? Well, if we look at the screen here, we can see that there's now a manual for OpenAV projects, including beginner setup. So what is an LV2 plugin? What is Jack? Uh, moves on to RD effects. There's a little description of every effect that's there, including what it actually does and how you can control it. Of course, this is all just navigatable very easily. If you're interested in Fabla or doing some drum sampling, then there's a you know a description here of what what's going on, including some details on presets and how the ADSR actually works in Fabla. If you're interested in looping, there's a whole section here on loop, so that includes screenshots on uh, how to connect to the playback devices, how you can navigate your scenes, how you can do things with the tracks, reverb sends, side chaining. Again, it's all really easy to navigate and use. And finally, Sorcerer, so there's an input or a section on all the oscillators and the various features that Sorcerer has. So that's all there in the hope to make it easier for people to uh, work with their OpenAV projects and to integrate them into your workflow and to see what value they might have for you. Apart from that, I'd like to demonstrate the latest loop feature, so that is the jack effects and jack sends per track. Um, just to show you how cool that is because it means that now any e effects that we would have otherwise wanted to build into LUP can actually be externalized and that gives us huge potential for doing some really cool stuff. So what I'll do is I'll uh, show you LUP is running here and we'll just kick off a track. So there's a, a couple of changes being made to LUP. Uh, for one there's a stop and play button here. There's a, this effects button here is the, the new feature that's uh, sending our audio externally. What does that actually mean? Well, if I bring filter uh, and uh, Jack connection dialog here into view, what we can see is that from send track zero, so that is essentially this yellow button here and the dial, we route to the left input of filter. Filter is a stereo plugin. We only have one input from the track though, so we're just going to use the left channel. And we can see here that the plugin is running just in uh, Jalve, so a standalone LV2 host. But that could also be Ardor or Carla or any other Linux audio project that will host plugins. Uh, then we take the output from filter on the left and return it to the track. So that essentially means that over here, where we have the effects button, is uh, going to return the audio back into the signal flow there. And the faders and the sends and things will work just as they did before. So the fantastic thing from that is it allows us to do this per track. Um, let me demonstrate. If we take, for example, the session as we're playing it here, what we can have is some hats and some chords playing at the back at the same time. But we can now filter out parts of the sound. So what's happening right now is that I'll just stop this. What's happening is that this track here on the very left, so just the drum beat, is getting filtered by filter, whereas the hats and the chords are actually passing unfiltered. So that's, again, if we look at the routing dialog, we can see that just track zero is being filtered. So that's the amazing feature that's uh, really good for live workflows, for filtering some, some things, making things sit nicer in the mix. It's all possible with this. So I hope that that feature is useful for everyone using LUP and doing some live looping. 
Uh, I'm certainly interested in using it myself and getting some, some cooler effects and beat mashers and things on each track to make a more dynamic performance. That's all for now from OpenEV. Uh, happy Christmas and I uh, hope you have a good new year. And let's see what the world of Linux audio and open source audio software brings next year and at the LAC. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye bye.